Okay guys, hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, we just recorded Stream Hardcore and now we're doing a new world call. It's gonna be called Creative. And so basically what the series is gonna be all about is basically, yeah, we just basically do as much as we can. So I also figured out what buffet was, and I didn't like it, so yeah. So we're just gonna do default world, all that junk, all that snazzy jazz. And if you want the scene, it'll be Zarkion. And yeah, so yeah, we'll just create it, and yeah. So just to start out today's video, I want to say thanks for watching. And obviously, thank you for being here to support me throughout these series and stuff. And it's, yeah. So yeah, here we are in a rather weird world. Honestly, I was not expecting this. <laughs> I love it, though. I love the little snow area. Like, let's get a little bit... Let's get the high ground. Let's just kind of look over. I mean, look at this. Isn't this just... Isn't this just pretty? I really like it. Okay. So we start out by a little lake. Um, maybe we could be, like... Maybe let's make, like, a little staircase thing. So people can, like, find where we live. So yeah. So now yes, this series is basically Hardcore's Arborist replacement. <laughs> so Hardcore has not ended yet, but I have a feeling it will because we're really getting risky with ourselves. Which is a little bit worrying, but you know. Yeah, if I sound really nasally, it's because I have a really bad cold still, and it's pretty awful. <coughs> and recovery is just crap. <laughs> Listen to your doctor, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is colds suck, so don't get them, I guess I could say. Just don't get a cold, and then you'll be solid. But yeah, this is basically Minecraft Hardcore's replacement, and yeah. Just in case something does happen. <laughs> Which I have a good feeling something will happen. Whenever I say something like that, it's just like, okay, you had one chance and you screwed it up. Good job. You, you basically ruined everyone's perception of Hardcore. And I'm like, great, I've done everything wrong, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm hoping doesn't, like, happen. I'm hoping Hardcore doesn't actually end, which will be a saint if it doesn't. See, the ending for me will be when we defeat the Ender Dragon. That's my ending. And that's what I- <laughs> Sorry, my god. And that's my, like, overall, like, end goal for the series. And I really hope that does happen. But yeah, as I said, that's my end goal for the series. So yeah, hopefully nothing does actually happen. Which is gonna be hard. So basically, we've already got a staircase. And this is gonna be kind of like a snow town. Like, everyone's gonna be really happy and like jolly and stuff. And I mean, we could literally see where we- we should build there too, but like, where we've spawned is kinda nice. I don't really like the snow though. Honestly, it's nice and all, but the snow- the problem with it is, it's just a little too snowy, if you know what I mean, and yeah. Which is a bit much, but you know, it's fine. And also in the hardcore video, some people know that one of my friends sent me a text and I had to address that. 
during, like, and it was just about to turn night, too, so yeah, that was a bit much, which was a bit annoying, but, you know, it worked out in the end, so I'm not complaining, even though I am subtly complaining. So we've got a path, which is nice, and I do like it. But see, this is where the like the main village is going to be, and I don't want to live near here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out a space in here. And I don't know why it's so laggy. I think it's like the, the shaders pack. I think it's really mean. I don't think my computer really likes the shaders pack that much. Mm-hmm. And it just makes everything look a bit nicer, though. That's my thing with it. I like the shaders pack and all, but I prefer video quality instead of lag to the extreme. And yeah, even though I do miss it and all. Like, okay, if we turn on F3, we can see, like, we don't have great FPS right now. But that's because of the stupid chunk updates. I mean, look at all the chunk updates. Oh my god. There's like five up chunk updates, and I haven't even done anything yet. I'm just moving around, and there's now 99 chunk updates? I mean, how do you do that? And I mean, like, I always... So, it might be different in this version, but... I play a lot of the Bedrock Edition, not as much anymore because it's kind of dying slowly. The Bedrock Edition's just kind of dying. It's just slowly dying, in my opinion. I love the Bedrock Edition and all, but in my opinion, it's dying so bad. I've said that a bunch, I know. But the fact that it's not being really addressed that much is a bit sad, in my opinion. And I don't want it to die, really. If I'm being completely honest, I don't really want it to die, but it just seems inevitable anymore, like... It honestly, it's a bit sad, but it's honestly, it's for probably the best because the Java edition is s superior. It's just far superior and everyone knows this and I think people have come to accept it because the Java edition uh, honestly just runs smoother and there's not as many bugs. Even though there's some bugs, it's not as much as the Bedrock edition. Like Bedrock edition has like floating snow and junk and like, if you place a bunch of snow too fast, it'll like float and it's weird and nobody likes that. And that's just all honesty, honestly. Nobody's really liked the Bedrock Edition. Like it was so controversial when it came out and then when it did come out finally, everyone was super happy with it. And then it kind of died, honestly. It kind of died and it wasn't, it kind of turned into junk to say the least, and yeah, it wasn't really great, and I do prefer how you don't like get momentum when you fly, I do prefer that a lot over the Bedrock Edition, but like, like, over the Java Edition, I hate the momentum, like, when you, like, move and fly, it's like that, that's how Pocket Edition used to be. I was okay with it on Pocket Edition because I wasn't bothered by it so much, but like on Java Edition with keyboard and stuff, it's really, it bothers me internally for some reason, and I don't know why. I couldn't really tell you why, even if I wanted to. It just bothers me, and I know it shouldn't bother me, but it just does, and it's not really. It's fine. It's not horrible let's just put it that way it's not the worst thing but it could be better honestly they could maybe nerf the momentum a little bit more which honestly i think everyone would be okay with i mean everyone likes the momentum at all i personally hate it hate with an h yeah i said hate so sue me but like 
it just doesn't make any sense for it anymore, really. And I know I'll probably get marked up for, like, controversial Minecraft topic, and it's just gonna be like, great, I've been demonetized, and there will never be another video again, and even though I'm not monetized at all, it's fine. But, like, honestly, Minecraft as a whole is really controversial right now. Like, NVIDIA and now nvidia and minecraft have this big like epic crossover thing with their like g-sync and junk i don't even know honestly i'm not a fan it's disgusting <laughs> i don't like it how about that it it's not disgusting i just don't like it because they're going to be adding basically a built-in shaders pack for bedrock which is like free i guess and just like sitting here like why? Because it's not going to be available for, like, Xbox Edition, for example. It's not going to be available for... It's like, a, it's free shaders. It's basic, like, I mean, you can get free shaders for Java, too. That's not what I'm saying, though. It's basically... It's... Okay. It's basically free shaders but they're okay shaders so it's not great shaders it's just okay shaders and i mean like i honestly also get like how oh hey yeah we're doing the shaders pack now deal with it and i'm just like okay <laughs> but see that's kind of what led me away from bedrock as a whole because it's finally like oh yeah you could have shaders but you have to have a PC. And I mean like console edition shaders for like Bedrock have been a th have been wa have been in like a request for so many years, I mean honestly. Like when the first shaders packs were like first released, they were basically like they were highly requested for console and old Mojang who wasn't owned by Microsoft yet. They didn't really do it, though, and that was the thing, and I think what kind of ruined it for me was, oh, hey, look, we have shaders now, but not everyone has shaders, so it's not really fair, in my opinion. It's not fair at all, actually, and I know that's probably like, wait, but Zach, you're like, but you love shaders, and I mean, like, yeah, I do love shaders, but only if it's for everyone. That's the only way I'll love it completely. I'll love it like a, I'll love it like a son when it becomes good. <laughs> that's my philosophy, honestly. And I know that's not a great philosophy, but you know, it's fine. And I mean, like, who's gonna care anyways? I mean, nobody. Honestly, like, nobody's gonna care if you get free shaders, or if you don't get free shaders. It's like, think of it this way. Like, you have two ends of the spectrum, and like, you've got, first of all, you've got the perfect version of Minecraft, nothing's wrong with it, and then you had shaders. And nothing's wrong with the shaders, but like, they make the Minecraft version you play just a little bit worse, and... Does anyone really want that? No, nobody really asked for that, and it's a little bit pushy. But you know, when is it not pushy? <laughs> and if I could, I'd tell Microsoft and Bojang, hey, if you're gonna do like shaders for all, why don't you like figure out a way to make it for all? Why don't you figure out how to do that first? And I know Minecraft's gonna be like, but we do this and this and this and everyone loves us. And it, then they're gonna realize, oh wait. What we're doing is affecting the community in not the greatest way ever. Which I understand it's for like business and marketing, but honestly, what good does it do if it doesn't really bring in like for example i have two shaders packs right here Con continuum and i love continuum it's nice it's really nice it's a nice shaders pack 
in all honesty. It's a really pretty, it's just, it's a solid shaders pack. I mean, look at this. Nobody wouldn't like this. I mean, I like it, and I'm kind of a geek, and that's okay. Oh, the lag. But see, that's something that's a bit much, is the lag that shares in general just causes. But it's nice. It's a nice, like, this shaders pack is super nice, and you can, like, zoom in, and everything's just kind of whole. It's... I feel like it really drives my point home. Why did I put programmer in it? <laughs> but like, as a whole right now, this kind of drives my point. <laughs> and shaders right now is really good. It really is. But the way NVIDIA is going to do it, honestly, won't be the best. Because like, Continuum plus this resource pack that I have is basically what NVIDIA is doing is they're basically putting sitters and continuum, combining them, and then they're also putting in this, like, 3D thing. Like, they textured the wood now, and do I like it? No, because look at this. I mean, nobody in their right mind wants this, honestly. Like, look at this. It's nice until it isn't, because it gets laggy, and that's what I feel like is going to happen with Minecraft anyways. It's going to just get bad. It's going to get bad, and then it's gonna, not going to be very fun anymore. That is anymore, I say. But, like, as a whole right now, Minecraft is a solid game. I don't see any reason why it needs any more changing. Like, you could get a decent or a really good shaders pack for, like, free... That makes water look actually good. And it ripples the water when you jump in or something moves. One thing I'm not a fan of, though, is when you go through players and servers. Oh, my God. That's just torture right there, okay? Nobody wants that in any way, shape, or form. Oh, there's the sun. And I just love the shaders pack. It's just calming. Cause like I could fly up into the clouds right now, maybe, hopefully. Wait, does it just like relatively like clouds custom sky off? I do like that. And like in general, it's just nice, and it doesn't feel like it needs much changing. And I know I'm going off on a rant now, because that's what I do. I have to kind of rant about how Minecraft's gonna be when they do do this gigantic shaders thing. Honestly, it's gonna die. It's kind of gonna die, and I will, I'm not gonna, like, pressure... And, I mean, I have no say in what happens and doesn't happen, but, you know. I'm not going to put any say. I'm not going to have any say in what does or doesn't happen. It's up to Minecraft, and they're... It's just up to them, in general. And if they decide to go through with the shaders, I'm happy. But that does lead me away from Bedrock Edition, kind of, a lot. It's, it's gonna kind it's controversial, first of all. It's gonna be controversial. And then, who's to say it's not gonna be the worst thing ever? I mean, we have no clue how good or not so good the shaders is gonna really be. And then there's some people in the community like, oh, it's gonna be perfect, and nothing's wrong with the shaders that we have right now. But see, that's what everybody wants in total. Like, that's just what everyone wants. It's not what they need, it's what they want. And honestly, I see no difference in any of this at all. Especially when shaders is involved. Like, 
most people have switched to Java Edition over the years now because honestly it's gotten better. It's been they had a really low time where Java Edition was the worst version of the game and Bedrock was the far superior. And then they had that couple of years where, oh, wow, that was a bit much right there. But then they had that year where they realized, oh, wait, we can make money off this game if we, tar if, like, if we make it into a, just a, an overall better game than the other. Like, here we are with Fortnite, for example. Like, it's an okay game. Yeah, sure. It's totally fine. Like... I don't like it, but I can't stop the developers from doing what they're doing. People like it. It's like that. And then they come out with something that everyone hates. For example, like the battle pass for certain seasons or... Or let's say... Oh, hey. Like, Timmy wants this version, but... It's not available for him yet, and yeah, I understand that <coughs> completely. Oh my god. That moment when you realize your cold is actually taking over your life. And honestly, if Minecraft wants to do shaders, go ahead. I have no say. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this though. People are going to love it, but they're not going to love it when they realize, oh, I can't have this because I don't have a computer or I'm, or my Xbox isn't beefy enough. And I mean, like, that's just a little unfair right there. <sighs> ah, hold on. And I'm ranting now. This video is going to be so long. But yeah, and I mean, like, people are gonna love it no matter what. You know what I mean? People think Minecraft is just this perfect game. And honestly, it is. It's a really good game, but... Who's to say that come, come 2020 or even late 2019... Who's to say that... All of that, like, all of what they promised is just gonna go away. Like, what if they don't uphold their promises on... This is just gonna be the best thing ever. Like, nobody's gonna, like. It's just. I know it's a rant, but. <sighs> we have to be honest with ourselves. Do we want a really good, solid game that's really solid and has little to no bugs? Or do we want a game that has bugs? <coughs> and is solid but is it worth it in the long run and what I'm gonna say now it won't be worth it in the long run and I hate to say that because I do love everything Minecraft has done it's very nice I just don't want us to lose our like sense of oh we've kind of lost our version of the game that we really liked most to a, a, pa a shaders pack that maybe wasn't worth it. Just some food for thought, personally, but personally, it's not going to be up to me. I'll probably n never play J M Bedrock Minecraft again. I'll probably play it on the Xbox because, you know, that's always fun. But otherwise, other than that, I won't play it because... They may or may not have ruined it for me, and I don't want to play a game that was ruined by something that m that everyone might like, but when they realize, oh wait, this is taxing, on, say, here, for example, Betty's computer handles Minecraft really well. Some say it's the best computer for Minecraft. And... Come, come new update time, they add something that Betty's computer can't handle. Like, for example, the new ray tracing stuff. Like, what if Betty's 
computer, for example, can't handle it, and... Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be suck for Betty? Like, nobody wants to... Okay, first of all, nobody wants to argue with what Minecraft's gonna do and not do. But see, what Minecraft has to think about, though, is they have to think about the people who play their game. They can't just, like, think about some people, but not everyone. It won't be fair to them. And, I mean, it's not fair to anyone, really. But if they really want Minecraft to be a good game, they have to listen to the community. And if they listen to the community, I bet you they'll get... I bet you they'll bring in, like, millions when they release 1.15. I mean, everyone right now is raving about the bees. They're like a meme right now, and it's great. But what they just have to realize is... What if it's not? Like, what if the whole deal with N NVIDIA is not what they really needed? Or not what they really had to have? It's just like, I love I love what Microsoft's doing with Minecraft as a whole. Honestly, it's the best thing they've ever done with Minecraft since, like, God, they haven't really done much with Minecraft that was really solid, really good. Not since, like, oh god, like, easily 1 dot. Like, 1.7 was a really good update. They had horses, they didn't really have Acacia yet. All that stuff was kind of being d brought in slowly. And then they brought in all that stuff, and then they brought in the new combat. New combat was the worst part about that update. Even though they added shields and, like, I think that was also the banner update, too, if I'm not wrong. And that kind of brought people, like, closer to the, to the console editions, because they got the same updates, but they didn't have the, the really controversial controversial like okay what they did not have was the overly crap like how do I even put this like they didn't have what everybody hated at the time and now and like they don't have it either like the Xbox 360 edition it has the update aquatic update which is personally in my opinion all you really need And then, like, the PS4 edition doesn't have that new combat, but it has shields. It has it has the stuff that Bedrock has, but with better combat, first of all. You can, like, hold it down. Like, you could hold down the triggers, and boom, bam, shabam, there you go. You have, like, you have the solid combat. And that's what I really liked about the 360 edition was the combat. It overall was just really solid in general. And same with the Xbox One edition, it doesn't even have anything close to Update Aquatic. Like, the, the Xbox One, like, Legacy Edition doesn't even have the Update Aquatic. It has the, like, the one before that, which, if I'm not wrong, is 1.12, because it's got Woodland Mansions. And personally, I'm fine with that. It's nice, it's kind of, it's well-rounded, first of all. It's well-rounded as a whole... And as the game should be, it's like, perfectly balanced as all things should be, as quote-unquote Thanos said. R.I.P. <laughs> you will never be missed. <laughs> that was mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, Thanos fans. I hated him. So much. So, so much. He killed it. He killed Peter Parker. I mean, you can't just do that without complications. Anyways, I'm getting off topic now, but like... Thanos and the others had one ideal goal, protect everyone. Well, Thanos didn't give a crap about anyone else. But I know one thing that did happen was he did have the solidarity to just, like, care about what would happen to the universe. Not, like, he didn't really care about the repercussions. And then he did say the universe needed balance. 
and like that kind of stuff. But he didn't want he did want intergalactic genocide. And I'm not saying Minecraft's anywhere like that. Please do not. Please do not go out saying Minecraft's dumb because they didn't give they didn't put a, give us our wonderful update whatever and it's dumb. Chill. I mean, honestly, nobody cares about your opinion. Sorry, that really hurt, but you know, people need to know the truth. Like some maybe someone at my Mojane or Microsoft is just like, "Oh, these people want something different than we're giving them. Why? We give them what they want, but why are they questioning us? Like, why do they want something different? And honestly, I have one thing to say to that. It's because when you add things that people did not ask for or people didn't really want. Like, I know everyone wanted shields, but, like, nobody wanted what came with it. The combat update. And that was just... Ugh. Combat update was dumb. And this isn't even a live... This is not even a live stream and I'm going off. Dang. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... It wasn't asked for. And, like... Okay. Enough about combat update. It's just, it's just, like, what if nobody really wants the NVIDIA ray tracing? It's gonna be nice and all, but what if it doesn't bring what it promises? That's all I'm saying. If it does bring what it promises, then fine. I don't care. That's up to them. I could care less what you want, and I'm fine with that. What I don't want, though, is for Minecraft to become something that it wasn't. Like, I know I'm doing a lot of Thanos stuff, but, you know, he was right on a couple of things. Like, his home, like, his home world of Titan, like, he said, it was my home, and it was beautiful, until it ran out of food, and started to die, and what, it just kind of spiraled into death, and it needed correction, and nobody was willing to give it that, and I was the only one who was smart enough, and blah blah blah, Thanos was right, woohoo, fun, I'm kidding, but like, he was right on a couple things on that, no, like, he did, he did know that the universe needed correction. That was, that's not arguable, like, by any means. You can't argue that it didn't, because it honestly did. It was pretty crap at that time. And saying that, and I'm not even coming close to saying that, oh, hey, guess what? Thanos was right, and, like, we shouldn't have killed off Thanos, and rah, and rah. And, like, all that stuff, like, no. He was wrong, but he had some sense of, yeah, he was sort of right. And he could've, could've had it all, but then he couldn't. Anyways, I know this is getting long, so I'm gonna put a door on this house, and then I'm gonna end, because, honestly, I think we're getting a little heated, and, yeah. So, we've done a lot, though. We built myself a house. And we built a bridge-ish. We built like a like a staircase bridge type of thing. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching. And when this comes out, just know that this, I'm gonna do so. The new recording schedule is two videos a week, but they're gonna be on the weekends. So you have something to look forward to, and you'll still have content. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.